Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. We've got a new unboxing. This one is the latest release from the 112 Collective, Old Man Logan, based off of the, well, rather classic comic story from Mark Millar and art by Steve McNiven, published by Marvel, you know, way back in the day. Um, this is a figure we've been really looking forward to. I know, obviously, the the story, original story, is sort of adapted into the Logan movie. Uh, obviously, the comic is... A little bit different, and um, this one plays more off of the comic than the movie, so let's actually see what's inside. Going initially off the figure, uh, you know, Logan's got his kind of classic look with the white shirt, the kind of docker pants, the leather coat, and his claws all popped out with his grizzled look with the gray hair. Of course, we also have a backpack where you can put in your baby Hulk and a hat for him to wear. So this should be pretty cool to check out. This is a figure I've really been looking forward to. Already love the small detail of the Faded X as far as the base and on the cover of the box itself. So let's open this up and show off what's inside. I know you're not here for me to talk, but to see the awesomeness that is the figures. Um, you know, packaging is the standard packaging that we've been getting. Uh, obviously, Mezco has standardized their well 12 boxes um, so that the regular releases are kind of in this clear see-through box uh, no longer has the flaps Let's see if there's anything on the back it's got the logo on the back nothing special about that but let's see the figure itself all right kind of now all have these Notices within. Just looking at this. I'm going to guess this is probably the jacket. Nothing else underneath. Yep, so we got the leather jacket, or supposed to be leather jacket within. Let's actually look at the figure itself and see what our thoughts are. Alright. Pretty easy to go stand the figure up. Not much problem at all when it comes to that. Uh, immediately, the figure, I mean, the look, figure looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's pretty basic in the design, you know, pants, shirt, pants, but something in that simplicity that's really, really nice and kind of stands out about everything. So, so far, so good. Let's go with the usual test of movement. Joints are nice and stiff, which are good. Foot has kind of the normal movement. Knee. Standard movement there, hip, standard movement. Um, chest seems to have a little bit more movement than normal, but not much. I remember it was the last figure that came out was Batman. It seemed to have much more movement towards the chest. This seems to be kind of in between that and some others. As far as arm, standard movements, elbows, all that. Wrists is all standard. And then movement of the head is pretty standard stuff as well as far as that. So when it comes to the actual figure itself and the movement of it and joints, it's all pretty standard stuff. Um, it's like this arm's not going back in. It's interesting. Okay. Start talking about details. Bottom of the foot, no details in the bottom of the foot, but the boot actually has a lot of details itself in it. Uh, the painting or the coloring is really good. There's some slight shading on it, so it's not just a straight brown. There's like a little bit of black giving de the detail really good. I mean, it looks like leather. It looks like a leather boot, which is exactly what it should be. Um, you can see kind of the toes are bent a little bit with some creases. There's some wear on the, the shoe itself, which is really good. I mean, overall, it's solid. This is really good details on the figure and the boots themselves. So I'm kind of impressed with that. It's good. It looks like an, it looks like a real leather boot. Uh, pants are pretty standard. You know, do you see the kind of the 
fake pockets on the side, which is good. Um, kind of the, the crotch area has got the stitching as well. Kind of looks like regular pants, like brown jeans, dockers, whatever you want to call it. The belt has a lot of good detail on it. Uh, of course, you've got the belt buckle in the middle that... It's plastic, but, well... Yeah, it's, I think it's plastic. It does look like metal itself, though. There is a lot of stitching around it, which looks great. And of course, you got the belt loops, which look fantastic. I mean, really small detail, but really, really nice. Uh, as far as the arms, the arms are very similar to what we saw in previous Logan releases, Wolverine releases, with the uh, kind of jacked up look and the hairy looking arms. And then, you know, the shirt's pretty standard white shirt. There's not really nothing to it. Uh, the face, though, the face is fantastic. He looks grizzled, he looks angry, he looks old, he looks mean. This is exactly what we would expect as far as a Wolverine, which is really, really good. Um, as far as all those details, the figure's fantastic. Like, this is a pretty basic figure, and I have a feeling a lot of folks will probably be doing conversions off of it, uh, but it's, it's a really nice figure. As far as the coat, let's go and try to put the coat on. We're going to learn our lessons from the Harley Quinn figure. See if we can get this on easier, any easier. All right, you know what? We are going to give him some claws while we're putting this on. That's more the Wolverine we expect. You can see the coat went on really easy. Um, the detail on it is solid. You know, you kind of got these straps right here. Uh, they don't come out, but you know, it looks like an actual coat. The collar is there. They're stitching. It's great. And as far as the wrists, as far as the claws, the claws look solid. I mean, this is exactly what I'd expect for a Wolverine. It's kind of an awesome pose. I did that way by accident. Uh, all right, let's look at the extras as well. We've got his backpack. This is one that like pops off at all. Some of these backpacks, like you can undo the straps. It doesn't look like this is one of those. Alright. Alright, backpacks on. issues with it. Uh, Alright, the backpack's on. Really good details on it. There we go. Really good details on it. The straps look solid. Um, it looks like worn leather. Um, you know, small little kind of metal bolts on it. I mean, it looks like a real backpack. And then we've, of course, got the Baby Hulk. For anyone that knows the story, knows what this all means. Um, really good details, really s kind of simple addition, but a, a fantastic one that, for those who love the story, it's kind of a big deal to have. And then finally, wouldn't it be Old Man Logan without his hat? Um, I think this is the first figure that you can actually put a hat on like that, which is kind of cool. Um, I support this. I actually think there's a lot more figures that should have that. Uh, Deathstroke should have like a bandana you can put on. So really simple accessory, but I think it works really well. Um, overall, I think the figure's pretty solid. You know, there's tons to it. Um, I like the accessories. It's really simple. You know, you're only getting three sets of hands total. You're getting one head. The accessories, the hat, the baby hulk, and the backpack are pretty cool accessories. I maybe would have liked maybe an extra head, but overall, I think it's a solid figure. If you're a fan of Old Man Logan, if you're a fan of the comic series, you should be really happy with this one. And this is definitely one I, I would pick up as a fan. Um, as a figure, you know, I wish there was just maybe something a little bit extra 
probably an extra head. I think that would have been it. Like an angry him kind of screaming extra head would be awesome. Uh, but it's really solid. This is a solid figure. It's a great depiction of the character. Uh, there's very little that I have issues with it. The backpack seems to be, you know, I'll probably fiddle with it to get it on a little bit easier. But that's about it. Um, everything else is great. The jacket went on easy. There's not issues with that. The hat went on super easy. The hands, everything. Like this is a simple figure and it works really, really well. Uh, now, if you are into Mezco, if you like Mezco toys, 112 Collective, you should hit us up every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep playing with your toys and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.